There's more okay. skin on it. So, what I've done is I've removed the skin from the frog's abdomen, and I've also now cut a, a flap into its abdominal muscles. So you can actually see these are its abdominal muscles. So they have the the muscles in the same way. These are called the rectus abdominis. Rectus. And then these are called external obliques. So it has those same muscles that you all have. These are pectoral muscles. Um, so what I will do is flip this open like that. I'm going to flip the other side open like that. Okay. To keep this out of my way, I'm going to use pins. So I'm going to put a pin right there. And I'm going to put a pin on the other side so that I can more easily see what's going on in here. All right, so the first thing that I can see here, this right here is the liver. And one of the questions that you're asked is, how many lobes of the liver are there? So I can see this is a lobe of the liver. There's one. Here's a lobe of the liver. There's two. And here's a lobe of the liver. That's three. Okay, pause. Okay, so what I just did was I removed the liver. Okay. Removed the liver. Um, so now I can see more of the digestive tract. And my next step is that I'm going to actually remove the digestive tract so I can see each of the different parts of the digestive system. So this first part that I see, so let's first look at it. Um, what you would call in vivo, how it looks like it's while it's in it inside the frog. So this is the stomach, and then the stomach then goes out and then becomes the small intestine. So you then have the small intestine here, and then that continues on down. This is more of the small intestine down through here, and then you can see at the bottom of the small intestine, it then there's this little branch where it goes from being skinny right here to then thicker right here. So this thicker portion is the large intestine. So then the large intestine keeps going. Actually, this is where it goes skinny to large. So this is the large intestine down here. And then the large intestine keeps following down all the way to the base, um, which is known as the cloaca. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first cut the stomach right at the top of the stomach with my scissors. Right at the top right here? Okay, watch out. Right at the top of the stomach. Okay, so then I'm going to pull this out. And as I pull this out, there's stuff on here called mesentery. So this is mesentery that I'm going to be snipping away. And one of the things that I can see while I'm here, this little portion right down in here, this, that's kind of has like a little bit of coloring to it. That's its pancreas. Okay. So this is all pancreas. So it's not as big as it is in a Again, this is the pancreas right there. Okay, so I'm going to cut away from the pancreas and the stomach because what I'm ultimately going to do is I'm going to I want to have the entire digestive tract. Gabe, I gotta move your head out of the way, please. Thank you, so I can see. So I'm going to keep pulling this away, pulling this away, and then I'm going to be cutting. the mesentery so it straightens all the way out. And then I'm going to keep following it down so you can see from here to here, from here to here is the small intestine. Now there's this right here, this little reddish brown piece right there. That's actually not part of anything. That's the, the spleen. Can you just say that one part again? The computer did something weird. I just want to make sure. Okay. So this all is the small intestine. 
from there to there. This is the spleen, so I'm cutting away the spleen. And then this larger portion right there, that's the large intestine. So I'm going to cut down here to remove the large intestine. And then cut the base of the large intestine. So now I have the full portion. Okay, and then I'm going to put it onto my tray right here. And I'm actually going to use my scissors or my pins to stretch it out. And then I'm going to get a ruler and then measure each of the different portions. So I'm going to stretch this out so that I can measure it. So that will be the length of the small intestine. So we'll just do that like that. So there is my digestive tract. So again, I have stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and then the portion that would be left inside the frog that I didn't cut out, that is known as the cloaca. <coughs> okay, let's make sure we have that on there. All right, pause it. What we do now is we're going to measure the lengths in centimeters. So for the stomach, the stomach is approximately uh, three, if I put this up a little bit more, it's like three and a half centimeters long from one side to the other. The small intestine, so I move the frog out of the way, the small intestine is going to be from pin to pin 14 centimeters and then the large intestine from pin down to the end about two centimeters and then the cloaca will be probably another half a centimeter long. Okay.